Hello guys, this is going to be an unboxing of the Hapog or Hapodge HD PVR. It's basically a capture card, an external one, and its purpose is to record high definition TV to your PC. Which way this is how it looks, the, the box. So let me go open it and show you guys what's inside. Put that aside here. Alright, so you have typical documents. This is the installation guide. Let me put this into a macro focus. Your installation guide. And I believe this is the software that is used. So I, I'm not sure if it's a, a, an actual video editing software. It's more like a software where it can it can um, allow your computer to recognize the HD PVR and you can stream the video to your computer and and then in the software you can actually access it to record the video and then it'll save it as a H2 what is the format again it's a H period 264 format and it, it can record in 1080i so let me show you guys what exactly what this thing is really going to do so what it does is it pulls the video from any kind of component cable from your HD cable box receivers it can, it can record off of video game systems such as the Xbox 360 and PS3. It's, it's pretty much what's the purpose I got this for. I'm going to record my um, video game gameplay from my Xbox 360 and put it on YouTube. So, it can record in 1080 high, which is very, very high resolution. It's not the best. 1080p is actually better, but 1080 high is good enough. These are the features. So, yeah actually get more down into it now put this back into landscape I have a thank you letter you know, I'm just gonna keep the camera in focus basically just thanks you for purchasing it tells you um, probably some troubleshooting that is like most common with some people. Just some quick fixes, I guess. All right, then you have the cables. These are your component, red, blue, and green. And then you have your audio, left and right. Thankfully, this does come with component cables though. But the Xbox 360 does not utilize this kind of cable. It has the end where it's a red, blue, and green. But at the other end is a specialized input that goes into the Xbox 360 itself. Have the remote. See what comes in this box. It's a charger, but I'm not sure what it's for. It's for the HD PVR itself. I, I actually would have expected this device to utilize a more, you know, like a robust, not necess not actually a robust, but it will require more power that it pulls electricity like it's a standard appliance pulling 120 volts. But this is actually, this takes about 5 volts at 2 amps, really. So it... It, it requires a transformer or a power supply to lower the electricity voltage and amperage. So this device does not take a lot of electricity. This cable will be a, I'm not too sure. Let me get my scissor and cut this plastic piece open.
Hmm, what is this? This is a unique cable. I've never really seen this before. When I saw this, I thought this was a thermometer of some sort, but I'm not too sure what this cable is. So sorry, guys. I, I, I don't know what this cable is, actually. Uh, it'll probably tell me in the manual. You have your USB cable, which is used to connect the device to your desktop, laptop, and I think it connect it could connect to a netbook, but I'm not sure if a netbook is powerful enough to run 1080p video without freezing. So it's your standard USB to I forgot what what what's the name of this connection. It's not mini B. I think it's just a B type B connection. It's a standard cable. I I got a um an extension cable because the distance from my HDTV and my Xbox 360 setup and my laptop is pretty far. So I'm gonna need a longer cable. This is probably a, a standard three feet cable. And last but not least, you have the device itself. In the front of the unit, you have your power button, your infrared sensor for the remote, S video, video left and right. This is for your composite connections. This is not HD. These are standard definition, probably supporting up to 480p. And in your back, you have the more um, higher definition connections. You still have your your in is when the, is this is the inputs and where it, it receives the the signals from the device that you wish to record from. So you have your your right and left audio, your green, blue, and red component connections, and this goes outwards to the TV. So it takes the signal in, it records it, and it still it, and it it gives it back out to the television. Supposedly, I'm not sure if it has any input lag since it has to go through this device and all the circuitry and then go out to the TV. But I don't think there's any input lag. I think it's seamlessly, and it has an optical out. For, um, for surround sound, it, it can record in surround sound, but YouTube does, YouTube does not play back videos in surround sound, so I'm just going to record it in um, your standard stereo. And it has optical in the blaster. I think that's that's that um, unique cable I saw. I think that's what it's for. I'm not sure what a blaster is. Then you have your USB connection, which goes out to the computer, and then you have your input for your power. It takes direct current or DC the bottom it's a fairly simple looking device so if you have any questions or comments on this device just please post in the comment box I'm not sure I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have a review on this I'm, just gonna, I'm pretty much gonna show you like videos and how the quality looks so this has pretty much been an unboxing of the Hapaj HD PVR hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching